<clears throat> so um, this open meeting of the Historic Structures Advisory Board is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020 due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings. And as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting lot to have all meetings in publicly accessible physical locations. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is supported so that the public can follow along with the deliberations in the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment. For this meeting, the HSAB is convening by video uh, conference via Zoom app and posted on the town's website that depends on how the public is going. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that all attendees are participating via video by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything you that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless I know it otherwise. And now turning to the first item on the agenda, before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. <clears throat> I will introduce a speaker on the agenda after they conclude their remarks. The chair will go down the line with members inviting you by name to provide any comment questions or motions. <clears throat> please hold until your name is called. Also, please <clears throat> remember to mute your phone, computer when you're not speaking, to remember to speak clearly, to help generate the minutes. And, um, for any resp response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in a conversation with other members, please do so through the chair. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. So, did I miss something? I did. So, the members present, um, Lucy? Yes. And did I see Angus? You hear Angus? Hey, you guys. Yes. And me, I'm here, Mil Mil Mickey Rowland, and uh, Holly, staff. Present. So the first and only item on the agenda. Just if you could make an uh, adoption of the agenda. Oh, yeah. Motion to adopt the agenda. Yes. Second. I guess. Uh, I'll second, um, but do we want to change the agenda because i've got four things on there and i think three of them are not appropriate yeah that's a good question holly what is are we reviewing 218 foot guard um well kadeem put it on the agenda um i did mention the fact that you all were reviewing it based on the demo itself um they may have included more information about the the part of the historic structure I haven't looked at the applications myself, but they did do a quick turnaround from last week till for this week. I'm um, fine with reviewing it. If you guys want to keep the agenda as, as is, I'll second. You know, I don't, I didn't even see this, um, the, 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 um, the drawings for this one, the application for 218 Cliff. Yes, Mountain. yes, because they were received by staff on Christmas Eve, I believe. So they weren't put on online but i have them can we can we put this one off until the next until next week until the next h that meeting yeah i agree with mickey sure and i don't see that based on looking at tomorrow night's agenda <laughs> uh that's yeah we can definitely do that so i don't think they'll get to it so yeah i'd rather look at that I'd, I'd rather have time to look at this ahead of time absolutely and yeah. i will i i will forward what kadeem's um what i received from them i'll forward that to you all all right, so let's um, make a motion to modify the agenda to, to push 218 Cliff Road for three applications till the next meeting. So okay, I'll, yeah, I'll second that. Okay, all those in favor? Lucy? Yes, and I. In favor. <clears throat> so, back to, um, back to Lisa. Right, here we go.
Lisa, do you wanna describe what you've changed here? Yeah, sure. Um, if we can go to the front. One of the main comments from the board was that they wanted to see more of the railing, the X railing on the front of the building. So we um, added a little porch on the um, north elevation on the right side to bring that railing at least back in elevation. Um, so it's still a filled in mass, but three and a half feet back from the front elevation so that we got that X railing shown from the front. Um, we updated the rafter spacing, which was 24 inches on center. Um, we added, we took away sort of a lot of the glazing that was on the north in the connector. And uh, again, put a little bit of railing back there and made that a sort of a standard four light door opening now to the mudroom. Um, we added a little, uh, we widened the garage um, and to try to make the mass come down a little bit more to make it feel less vertical and added the roof over the garage doors. We also pulled in the elevation of the second floor dormer on the right, mm -hmm. the western elevation. We pulled that in about a foot because mm -hmm. that was another comment. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't make any changes, um, any other changes on the rear um, other than addressing the verticality of the garage. Okay, thank you. Um, Lucy, any thoughts? Well, I was wondering if you talked to the um, homeowner about the uh, trim color. Yeah, I don't, I think he's, he wants to keep it light. So he's okay with going to what's been there since, which was the yellow. Um, okay. I did go down and look at, I think it was either Brooke or Angus that suggested going down and looking at the Johnson place. And I do have photos of white with the green sash, um, which may also be a possibility. I don't think he's interested in doing it all dark green. And okay. I think we'd want, we'd want to do more of a forensic look at the trim to see if that was actually the color originally. Yeah, I just, I don't think white is appropriate for this house. And I'm fine with the, um, either yellow or the dark cream or whatever it is. Okay, so even with the Seward Johnson's color um, of white trim with green windows, that's that you're not in favor of that. Uh, you know what, I, I don't remember that house enough. I was just, I mean, as I mentioned before, I, I'm um, Davy Jones's locker, which is all, yeah, all dark know. green. Yeah. And I can understand why someone would, if they're not used to Nantucket, would think that that is very heavy, but, um, I, I'm fine with the um, yellow, the pale yellow or soft yellow, um, but I'm not in favor of the white. Okay, understood. Yes. Hey, Lisa, thanks for coming. Uh, the, uh, I was reading the comments from the HDC uh, about the verticality of the garage mm -hmm. and I think that making it a, a straight gable instead of the hipped gable that you proposed before actually makes it feel taller. Um, I think the width definitely helped. Uh, I think that's a good strategy. Uh, but if possible, I, I'd like to see that echo of the house hips um, shown again in the garage. Um, I like the addition of the rail uh, on the street side on the front. Um, and the spacing of the rafters, as we uh, had suggested. Um, the west facing dormer still feels um, uh, too large. The, um, I think coming back to sort of the roof line on the west side, the main roof line, um, I don't think it needs to go as far back as all the other dormers that look like they're back a foot or two from that point, but uh, I think getting at least in into that zone will make that look um, better proportional to the to the rest of the um, dormers in the main mass. Um, and as far as the colors go, I would, I guess I would rather see some dark than no dark. So if they were up for that um, combination of the white and green, I'd rather say that than, than all white or all light, as in the, the yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all, Mickey. Thanks, Angus. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to agree with every, practically everything everybody's already said, but, um, the, especially about that garage lease. I think that the going through the straight gable was um, sort of counterproductive. I like the hip section that you had um, earlier. So I know the width, the width helps making it wider, but I do like the, the hip roof on the seat. And <clears throat> railing's great. Um, dormer, a little bit smaller if you do that. Um, as far as the color, I'm kind of okay with the all cream, but I think that they would consider the cream with the dark green windows, cream trim and green windows. That might, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I um, I, I, I kind of go with what Lisa, uh, Lucy said and just plain not white. I'd rather not see any white trim. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah, we did have like the, it really, the client was hopefully, hopeful, did not like the sort of partial hip on the garage. I, I actually drew it that way, even after we widened the garage the first time and he asked to put it back to a gable. I thought it was very appropriate with the style of the house that was there and actually historically is, you know, obviously an, an, an appropriate roof line. So I will talk to him about that. Um, and I will continue to look at the dormer though. Yeah, the hard part with the dormer is it, it really wasn't supposed to read as a dormer, um, but I know it is reading as a dormer, so it's tough because I really originally was thinking that it would read as a hipped addition, but because it's not coming out to the face of that, um, to the face of the, of the wall and is actually set in from that, allowing the hip to return, it's sort of, um, I agree is reading heavy is just programmatically it's a little difficult to fit everything to fit the bathroom in if we pull it all the way back but so I understand your comments okay. and I can just just telling you why we did certain things <laughs> yeah no I I get it I looked at the floor plan and I can see why you got it that size but it, it still does feel a little unbalanced yeah to get a little smaller okay um Becky can I add one Actually, two things. <laughs> well, um, I did. I looked at the floor plan as well because, um, you know, in our suggestions, it's not really our purview to to get into the interior. But right. um, I never really like to suggest something that is impossible to to work with. And and looking at that second floor plan, it looks like there's room to move there. It's a it's a tight nut, but I think it could get cracked. Um, and also the connection between the garage and the house I thought was more successful uh, being more glazed. I know there was pushback from the HTC, but I, I, I really believe that that um, creates more distinction of the garage being separate from the house um, rather than this breezeway connector. It's, um, it, it just, it, 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 I think it's more successful with the glazing. Um, yeah, the only reason I did that was to add that X railing, but maybe we'll forego it. And since we added it back to the um, north elevation on the west side, maybe I'll put that back to being more glass because I, that was the original intent was to make it look sort of like a hyphen, right? You know, two separate structures that were uh, that were connected. So um, I think it, I think you were right on target with that. Okay, so maybe maybe I'll bring some alternatives to the HGC meeting. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Angus on that. Also, I think it was I, I liked it better with the with the glass and sort of the see through, distinct, kept it distinct from your house. And frankly, the X railings are so minuscule that they're almost they're sort of a silly gesture at this point. Yeah, their proportion isn't right for that yeah. era. I mean, if you didn't have to go in there and you could just have the X railing go all the way across, it'd be it would look fine. But it's sort of the whole point of having the door there is to be able to access the mudroom. So, okay, I'll, I'll look at that. The only way of getting around that is if you move the door either to the right or the left and then had the railing on one side. Yeah, no, maybe I can look at that. I mean, maybe it's a glass door with a couple of sash to the right and then there's half a railing. Not have it centralized. Yeah, not have it in the middle. The configuration on the previous submission it looks like a, a, a glassed in area that because it's centered, all the glass is kind of the same size and it, it really works more as a glazed wall. If the door goes to one side or the other, I think you, you might lose that. 
Well, what you'd have to do, Angus, is actually um, do like a, a shorter windows. I guess you would still lose it, but my intent was to get glass left to right. You just wouldn't have um, the full height windows to the right hand side, or maybe you would, and you'd have the railing in front of it. But you think the railing will muck it up? I think the previous submittal was about as good as that connector gets without the railing and with the glass going pretty much top to bottom and okay. all the pane sizes being the same size. Okay. Well, don't forget this house is close to this to the road. Right on the it road. It is. It's very close. Yeah. yeah. Lisa, I'm very interested to see what comes up with your forensic analysis of the paint color. I really I know, think it's interesting to see. It'd be really cool to see. Yeah. It always interests me. Hopefully. It like I mean, the, yeah. It, it looked like the pretty much the basic pale yellow that they used to use when um, we drove by a couple days ago. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's, it's hard to tell if there's a, other colors below that I haven't looked at. But certainly, most recently, it's been that pale yellow for a while. And that is a, a color that you used to see quite a bit. Very 30s. Yeah. OK. Thank right. you very much for all the feedback. I appreciate it. Great. Right. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. Thank Happy you, New Lisa. Year. Happy New Year to you guys. Talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. OK. Um, I guess that's it for us. Motion to adjourn. Hold on. I think we're going to do Cliff Road. Do you want it? I think we're off Cliff Road. Do you want to put are, that on till next week or did you want to talk about anything? I, I'm sorry. We are going to do it, but not this week. Sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, what we do before adjourn, we need a, a motion to approve the comments. Uh, motion. Lucy, motion. motion. I guess second. Yes. All, all those in favor, Lucy? Hi, I guess. Aye. I'm in favor. Quick meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quickest on record. Yes. I'll make a motion for to adjourn. Seconded by Lucy. Second. All those in favor, Lucy. Aye. Angus. Aye. I'm in favor. Aye. Thank you all. Happy New Year if I don't see you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Holly. Aye. Aye. See ya. <laughs>